This is Tim Bryce with my column entitled Essays on the American Scene. The following are excerpts from the introduction of my new book, Essays on the American Scene, one of four new books I recently introduced. I'd like to begin by giving you a Bryce's Law. If the mind really is the finest computer, then there are a lot of people out there who need to be rebooted. Americans are interesting creatures. As a heterogeneous society, we bring the best and the worst to the table. On the one hand, we are stubbornly independent, we resist cooperation, and ready to fight our neighbor when his kid accidentally kicks a ball on our property. On the other hand, we can be tremendously kind and generous, and ready to come to the nation's defense if attacked. Americans prefer to react to disasters as opposed to planning. It's an inherent part of our character, which the rest of the world is well aware of. As Japan's legendary General Yamamoto said after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, I fear all we have done is to awaken a sleeping giant and fill him with a terrible resolve. America is a melting pot of ideas and customs from around the world, which is both our strength and weakness. We love to bicker about our government, yet are unwilling to do anything about it. We are easily swayed by the media who spins our perspective on current events, diverts our attention from true issues, and castigates anyone who is not politically correct. America is a nation split between hard workers and freeloaders. Whereas half of the country believes and pursues the American dream, the other half believes they should do nothing but dream. Perhaps America's biggest commodity is entertainment, which is closely followed by the rest of the world. Our entertainers see themselves more as free-spirited artists and role models as opposed to laborers. They are quick to offer their political opinions, which seems odd to me. This is like the court jester offering advice to the king. Although I write on many topics, I find the foibles of the American people to be particularly interesting. What I am including herein are observations of phenomenons or events we tend to overlook or have forgotten about. From the outset, let me warn the reader, I am not always politically correct. You will also encounter some profanity along the way, but I am more interested as to why we use it as opposed to the simple use of it. I apologize in advance if this offends you, but please realize I'm trying to make a point. Hopefully you will see the humor in what I am describing. After reading these essays, some of you will accuse me of dwelling on the past too much. Maybe. But it is probably better than what we are experiencing today. In reality, I am trying to contrast the human character of yesterday to today. We cannot appreciate where we are going unless we know where we've been. As to what makes me tick, you first have to remember I graduated from college with a bachelor's degree in communications. Hence my fascination with our vernacular and histrionics. I never tire of hearing new words injected into our culture, particularly from people in advertising. I also spent over 30 years as a management consultant specializing in information systems and computers. Because of this, I was fortunate to have toured quite a bit of the world, visiting companies of all sizes and shapes, and people from the trenches to the boardroom. It was a very enlightening journey. This also caused me to write on a myriad of subjects, everything from business management to systems and technology, politics and religion, and the ever-changing world around us. Although I try to make a legitimate point with each of my essays, I try to sprinkle in some humor to make them more palatable. I hope you will be pleased. Friends, keep the faith. This is Tim Bryce in Palm Harbor, Florida. Follow me on the internet at timbryce.com.